In today's video, we're going to be comparing cheap versus expensive airsoft grenade launchers. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. We're also going to be checking out different types of actual grenades themselves to actually use with the different launchers. All right, everyone. So let's jump into number one. So this is going to be the cheapest airsoft grenade launcher of today's video. This one comes in at $15. You guys are probably caught on by now that YouTube loves orange tape. So we had to do that right there. But taking a quick little closer look at this guy, it is quite interesting. So for $15, you know, you wouldn't expect this guy to come with like battery, like, you know, plugs or anything like that. See, there's one kind of hidden this little compartment right there too so this guy actually functions kind of interesting so you pull the safety forward like so you pump it back like a pump action shotgun and then you're able to shoot with the trigger but that still doesn't answer our question why does it have battery connectors on the top and also in this little compartment right there it's really honestly interesting i had no idea what this is for after some careful consideration in my small brain i basically realized that if you are running a front wired airsoft gun you can actually plug the battery into this guy and then you can actually run the battery hidden in this little compartment down here and plug the battery in right there so it's kind of acts like almost like a battery extension so if you do not have enough battery space in your front grip and your front wired airsoft gun you can actually just hide it in this little compartment actually kind of intuitive so I couldn't find out actually how to load this guy for the life of me. So basically I found out you pretty much just put the BBs in the top right there where they shoot out anyway. So I guess that's how to do it, but I have, honestly have no idea. And I guess you just cock this guy back like that and you're ready to go. But if you carefully load them and shoot them at an angle, you could have this. Well, they don't quite make it to the ladder, but they tried their best. One more time just for the meme. Oh, I wouldn't even hit the ladder. <laughs> so I'm curious if I just put one BB, how far that'll actually go. We'll test that right now. Oh, well, it actually goes really far. I'm going to hit it once. I'm determined. Yes, finally. Jeez, okay. Only took me like literally like a whole speed loader full of shots. So would I recommend this thing? Uh, maybe for aesthetic purposes, but definitely not for, uh, you know, using it. Unless I could somehow figure out how to put the BBs in a different way. But yeah, other than that, it is pretty much useless. All right, next up, this one comes in at $70. So stepping it up quite a big notch with this guy. Before we move on to the next skinny launcher, I want to introduce you guys to the video sponsor, Enlisted. Enlisted is a World War II shooter with a strong focus on providing historical authenticity while keeping players in a dynamic, action-packed multiplayer experience. Enlisted is available on PC Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, as well as PlayStation 4 and 5 with cross-platform support. And the best part is, there is no purchase necessary. Click the top link in the description to play for free. You can play on large-scale combat maps while playing as a ground vehicle crew or even an aircraft pilot. And adding to the excitement, many of the objects on the map can be destroyed in battle. When it comes to video games, I love strategy ones, so when I found out about the squad mode featured in Listed, I was excited to try it. This mode allows you to control your own squad of fighters, and at any time assume control of an individual squad soldier. So even after they're taken out, you have other squad members to play as until your entire squad is wiped out. Play for free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and by using my link in the video's description, you'll receive a free bonus of three days of premium time and several orders for troops and weapons. So although the last one was a spring action one, this one is a fully gas one, which is pretty cool. And if you guys do recognize this, this was actually used in a previous video, if you guys have watched my channel before. This guy is the HFC HG138 grenade launcher. All right, so this guy actually comes in at, you know, a pretty small size, but it's pretty cool and actually has some good weight to it for being pretty small. This guy actually is full metal, so it feels actually pretty high quality for the price as well you basically have to put this in some picatinny mount and then there is a little weird like bottom rail as you guys can see which is kind of funny because you'd have to put this on the bottom of your airsoft gun bottom rail and then you put something on the bottom of this on the bottom of your gun so it's pretty weird i assume you would probably use like you know maybe even like a little tiny laser on the bottom of this guy so you can have like a secondary aim you know so you don't have to worry about like aiming this guy you can just have your laser on and it's pretty simple honestly you just pretty much just load the gas up right there on the side you load the bbs up on the top right there and then you basically just pull this guy like that and they shoot out the top it's pretty cool and do not be fooled this guy does pack a punch for its size so let's go ahead and see how this guy shoots i got this little guy set up on a pistol because it kind of just looks funny but let's actually go ahead and see what this guy does three two one Woo -hoo -hoo. nice I really do like this guy because you can pretty much put it on any Picatinny mount rail you want, even pistols or M4s or anything you could possibly want. So that's kind of the main plus of this guy and it's obviously really easy to load. It just pretty much hit the bottom three ladders. Obviously it's not crazy range, but the spread is actually, you know, not too bad. So you could probably get people out with this guy, but you'd obviously have to be pretty close. All right, loaded this guy back up. Let's go to a little bit more of a realistic range with this guy and see what this guy's got. Woo. That's actually pretty accurate. Actually, the grouping is pretty good too. Nice job, little dude. All right, guys, this is the next one up. This is the six millimeter Pro Shop Airsoft Pocket Grenade Launcher. And this guy comes in at $60. The last one was $70. Why would you go to a cheaper $60 one? Well, there is a little catch. I bought two of them. Nice. And you know what that means? That is double the fun. 
So these guys are kind of just pretty simple. It is just basically kind of like full metal little construction up here and a little plastic rip down there. And there is a little full metal rail up here and a little rail down there. All you have to do to load a shell is press this guy on the top right there, pull this guy down and you have access to the actual little space that you put the shell in right there. And then once you put the shell in, you're ready to go once you snap it up like that. And then all you have to do, of course, is pull the trigger. This guy, it does look a little quirky. Obviously the grip doesn't go down vertically like pistols, for example. This guy kind of goes off at a angle. And I'm pretty sure why they do that is when you're gripping this guy like so, you're actually still able to reach this little latch on the top with your thumb like so. So fun fact about airsoft grenade launchers, once you start getting into kind of the nicer end airsoft grenade launchers, you're going to need to actually buy individual grenades. And the problem is these guys are not cheap. So although these guys are $60 each, which obviously sounds not too bad, but the real problem is sometimes the airsoft grenades themselves can be even more than $60 just for one airsoft grenade. Not typically, but obviously these guys are very expensive. So the first one we're going to test today is the King Arms 120 round. This is the version three of this airsoft grenade. It's kind of cool, little orange and gray look. And this guy's pretty simple. They just come in a kind of simple box with some plastic kind of covering this guy and a little tag up front. And like I just mentioned, this guy has a 120 round capability. So in theory, this guy shoots 120 BBs per shot. Usually airsoft grenades are pretty simple. So this guy, you pretty much just load the BBs at the top until they don't fill up anymore. And then obviously you put the green gas right there at the top as well. So obviously it's a little bit more chilly this time of year. So I was worried about these airsoft grenades having problems with the O-rings and stuff like that and not working. So of course I took preventative measures. So not only did I get one grenade launcher shell, I didn't get two grenade launcher shells. That's right, not three, not four, or not five. Haha, <laughs> your boy got 12 of them, baby. Let's go. So if these all break, this is just not gonna work out, but I did get 12 of them. So hopefully luck is gonna be on our side with one of these guys at least working with the cold weather, but we'll actually have to see. So why did I get so many damn airsoft grenades, especially of one kind? Well, they might've had a package deal. But the main reason I actually got this many airsoft grenades is I actually have a grenade launcher coming up very shortly in the video that let's just say has a capacity to shoot more than one airsoft grenade. And I cannot wait to shoot that one. That will be coming up very shortly. All right, so this is kind of like the target we're gonna be using to actually shoot for the grenade launchers. And we have our brave volunteer here bob to actually help us out with that please help me so let's go ahead and see how this guy works yeah i realized after the fact that gopro is probably not in the best area because it's definitely gonna get shot but let's just hope it doesn't break <laughs> it's actually pretty loud wow pretty nice though i guess while we're at it let's try a second one. Oh boy that's not good that one might be broke Oh boy, that's scary. Okay, so grenade launcher shells are pretty low quality. I actually like heated these up beforehand just to help with the cold because it's a little cold out today. Oh boy. Well, come on, man. One of these got to work. I bought 12. <laughs> so obviously this target is probably maybe like 30 feet away, give or take. So obviously the range in this guy isn't crazy, but it seems to be working pretty well. All right, it is dual wheel action. Let's see what these guys got. <laughs> Very nice. And the next grenade shell is the ASG multi-purpose. Pretty simple packaging for these guys. And this one has the capability of shooting 90 BBs per shot. This one has a really cool gold and black look. And you actually put the green guys at the bottom this time. And this guy, as you can see, is actually hollow. So quite interesting. And this is actually why these little caps actually come in handy. So you put the BBs actually in that little hole right there. And then you actually have this cap to actually plug the end of this guy. So the BBs don't fall out before you shoot it. Pretty cool. Let's go test this guy out. So as you can see, I put the BBs in that little hollow spot right there. And then now you just put the little rubber part on the end and you're ready to go. And obviously you got to put some green guys in here too. All right, let's see how this guy works. Whoa. That one sounded a lot crazier. Obviously I can't like chronograph the grenade launcher shells because you can only shoot one BB at once and it'll probably destroy the chronograph. Anyway, but that one sounded way more crazy and it seemed like the BBs were traveling at way faster speeds. And I think like that little rubber piece at the end actually creates kind of like an airlock. So it kind of like builds up the pressure more, maybe shoots way more crazy than the last one. So that's kind of cool. All right, we're going to do one more test with these bad boys. We're going to do the left one with this grenade and then the right one with this grenade. So you guys will actually see the difference of performance with these two different grenades. All right, I'm actually gonna shoot these guys at the same time, but I'll do a little slow-mo afterwards so you guys can see a difference between performance.
Next up, this is the ICS High Speed MA138. And I guess we got two of them in this little package. Pretty cool. I think actually so far, these are my favorite looking ones. They look pretty satisfying, honestly. Pretty cool. Has like a goldish bottom and then a little green top. And I guess these guys can hold 70 BBs per shot. So after you twist that off, that's actually where you put the green gas right there. Kind of an interesting design rather than the bottom or top like the previous ones. It's actually just right there on that little stem. I'm not actually sure if this is supposed to be a full projectile or it actually can hold BBs and it actually sprays BBs with it too. So I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, this one's gonna be quite interesting. Let's see how this guy works. Bruh. So for some reason, this guy is actually not working with this type of grenade launcher. So I guess we'll have to save this different grenade for some of the future launchers in the video. All right, next up, we have a quite an interesting one. This one is kind of different from the previous ones. This is the Black Cat VX-1 airsoft grenade, and this is actually a slug round. So separating itself from the previous ones we just got, this one actually shoots a full projectile or a slug, which is actually just that whole top part right there. Pretty cool. And to actually load this guy up with some green gas, you just kind of take the slug round off. You rotate off like so. And there's actually where you put the green gas right there. And if you guys were curious, this is actually just a little foam piece at the end. It's actually not a hard plastic. It's quite a soft little foam. And of course we have a whole bunch of extra foam heads here to use as slug rounds. So without further ado, let's go see what this guy can do. All right, let's see how this guy works. Hopefully I don't shoot the actual GoPro, so I'm screwed, but here we go. Oh! <laughs> There it is right there. This one's having a little issues holding gas, but pretty cool nevertheless. All right, last but certainly not least, we actually have this guy right here. So at first glance, this guy looks like one of those like Nerf like throwable things that you throw around in the backyard. But this guy is actually more of a little foam grenade or rocket. I'm pretty sure we're actually able to use this guy later on in the video with one of the launchers. So without further ado, let's keep going. All right, and next up, we have the LMT Quick Lock QD M203 grenade launcher. And this is the short version too. This guy comes in at $120. And this guy is pretty much just covered in some bubble wrap to protect it while shipping. This one is about 10 times more expensive than that first one with a similar design. This one actually has a full metal construction for the most part, except for this grip right here. So it actually has some really good realistic weight to it. But as far as design goes, this guy is pretty simple. Pretty much a standard M203 grenade launcher. So actually to put this on a Picatinny mount rail with this little guy right there, you pretty much have these little quick latch system right here. You pretty much just push these buttons in and then you can get these guys up like so. And then you kind of just, you know, make sure it is as tight as you need to be. You put it on the rail and then you can just tighten these like so pretty nice as far as the rest of the system goes pretty simple this is pretty much safety on right there and then there's safety off like that and then to actually put a grenade shell in there you just hold this button push it forward like so take a grenade shell load it up like that and you're ready to go I actually tested this guy in a grenade launcher that we're going to unbox in the future of this video and it did work so don't worry we'll be actually shooting this guy and it's actually really crazy so that's probably my favorite of the video so we'll do that in a second but we can use these three with this grenade launcher so without further ado let's go ahead and see what this guy's got <laughs> That had a lot more smoke, actually. That's interesting. It kind of seemed a little more accurate too. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think the actual like end of this thing is a little bit like tighter, so maybe that's helping with the groupings, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's do this one second. All right, let's try to aim this guy and hit the vest. That's my goal here. <laughs> that actually had a couple hit the vest too, pretty nice. All right, so this one actually is pretty cool, but let's actually go ahead and move on to some of the crazier stuff in the video. All right, next up we have a ICS guinea launcher. Let's go ahead and see what this guy has in store. This guy comes in at $220, so pretty much doubling it from the last one. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, you're seeing it like I'm seeing it. This thing is crazy. This is an MGO revolver grenade launcher. So let's go ahead and take all this out. Oh, that is a lot of foam on that guy. Holy, get all that damn foam off out boy come on out boy but this is what we're working with this guy it looks absolutely insane this is kind of like that crazy revolver one you actually see in video games this guy can have six different shells in it so basically you can hold six shells in this single revolving chamber and actually every single time you pull the trigger another shell goes off i've always wanted to shoot one of these in airsoft so this is gonna be definitely one of my favorites of today's video and that's why of course we got so many grenade shells so it does come with a little adjustable foregrip in the front which is kind of nice because obviously that will probably help you hold this monstrosity of an airsoft gun while you're shooting it so it does actually have a rail 
mill system on the top, which is kind of funny because I don't know anyone that's using like a red dot sight to shoot this guy. But I'm sure some of you crazy milsim players will have some kind of zeroed in red dot sight for, you know, like maybe longer ranges or maybe like 60 feet. But most people using this thing, I can't imagine would utilize that rail system. And it does have a quad rail system actually on the front of this guy so you can mount stuff on both the sides, the bottom and the top. I don't know what you would mount on this guy, but I guess you could do whatever you want. And it has an included little sling mount right there, so that's kind of nice. It does actually have another sling mount coming at the back right there. Although this guy does look crazy heavy from its kind of size and this like crazy rotating barrel in the actual middle. It's actually not too heavy, but I can imagine once you put six shells in this guy, it'll definitely add a lot of weight. And you do actually have a safety mode up there and a fire one down here. So now it's on safe right there. And then if you rotate this guy down, that is a fire mode. And of course you just simply press the trigger to shoot this guy. Pretty cool. As you can see, it kind of has like a weird stock. So obviously it's kind of like a standard M4 stock where it's adjustable in different positions, pretty cool. But this guy is actually adjustable going up or down. So basically if you hold these two little buttons in, you can actually rotate this guy fully up and fully down like so, pretty interesting. All right, and last but not least, how do you get this like rotating, basically like shell system open? So there's a little latch right here. You basically just pull that up like so. And you simply just keep your hand in the same position and you take the front grip and you rotate it 90 degrees to the left. And this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. And then obviously you just add your desired grenade shells in here and then you're ready to go. So without further ado, I am extremely excited to shoot this guy. Let's go ahead and see what this guy's got. So this is actually the first grenade launch in the video where this guy will actually fit. So let's go ahead and see how this guy works, just this single shot. And then we'll obviously go on to six shots. Uh, that one might be my favorite so far. Cause not only does it shoot like that little green plastic thing, but obviously it shoots a whole bunch of babies too. So it's kind of like two in one, pretty sick. And that's actually what it looks like without the cap on there. And you can see where all the babies go, pretty cool. But you already know what's good with this guy. This guy can hold six different grenade launcher shells. So without further ado, let's load these guys up and see what it's got. So basically I'm gonna do every other grenade being one of these guys, since there is three of them. Then to use this guy, you just gotta rotate this six times. It's ready to go. And then all you gotta do is actually put this off safe and you're ready to shoot. Let's see what this guy's got. Oh. <laughs> that one didn't quite have enough gas, so uh, here we go. Next one. I think that's it. And this is how it actually looks like when it's shooting as well. It's pretty cool because the actual like rotation and weight of the actual grenades make the gun actually shake like you just saw. So it actually adds a cool little realistic effect. All right, we got this guy loaded back up with those 120 round grenades. So without further ado, let's go a little bit closer and see what kind of damage this guy does. <laughs> Why do you do this to your boy, Bob? My feelings are hurted. Nice. You already know I'm doing some crazy shit right now. <laughs> they never thought I would do a grenade launcher on a grenade launcher. <laughs> Actually, let's do one more of this grenade too, because it's my favorite. And I also attached this grenade launcher on there as well, because why not have two grenade launchers on one? Y'all thought I wasn't crazy enough to put a grenade launcher on a grenade launcher? Well, you're wrong. All right, I'm gonna pull this little guy and then I'll shoot the big one. Finally, we got the mask down. All right, going straight into the next one. This is the King Arms M79 grenade launcher. Let's jump straight into this guy. And this guy comes in at $330. Ooh, spicy. All right, so pretty simple in here. Just the grenade launcher in here. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Pretty sweet, honestly. We got a little tag right here. Let's go ahead and take that off. It's got two little sling mounts, one in the front, one in the back right there. It's got a nice little wood on the actual stock part right there. And obviously the front little grip right there as well. So overall, this thing is a pretty simple design, but coming actually to the front, things get a little more complicated, but I'll explain it in a quick little sec. You actually have to press this button. This little sight will actually come upward. Pretty cool. It actually has a front iron sight and then actually a rear one hiding right there. So pretty cool. And it has this actual adjustable bar 
bar thing. And you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is that? So you have different little ranges and different numbers on here. So 100, 200, 300, and 370. Let's, for example, go to 300 and I'll show you guys actually what that does. Going to 300 and actually aiming this back sight with the front sight, it'll kind of look something like that when it's on your shoulders, making this guy shoot a lot more upward than normal. And obviously when you put this guy back down like so, we'll go to 100. And then looking through the back sight with the front sight, it'll look something more like that. So much like the previous one, this guy is adjustable to actually have a angle upward to shoot farther. And of course, when you put this iron sight back down, it has a secondary back iron sight. So you can actually just aim that guy up with the front one like so, in case you don't want to use that crazy contraption. Two more quick things, and then we'll actually go ahead and shoot this guy. This guy does actually have a working safety. So there is off safe, and that is safe. And then to actually load a grenade shell, you take this little latch, pull it to the side like so, then crank this guy open like that. Pretty sick. And then when you're loading this guy up with the shell, it'll probably look something like this. Let's see what she's got. All right, guys, we have one loaded up of each type of grenade. Let's go ahead and shoot it. Whoa, that's actually a really heavy trigger compared to what I thought it was going to be. I feel like that could have shot better. Let's actually redo that same type of grenade real quick. Yeah, this one's got a really like heavy trigger, but pretty cool, honestly. This one's probably my favorite to load just because it's super satisfying. Just this little lash and how it pops out like this. And actually how it feeds you this grenade shell with this little lip right here is pretty sick. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Bruh. Oh no, it doesn't fit either. No. Damn, I guess this doesn't work with this one either, but we'll save this for the next grenade launcher. This one kind of leaks a little bit, so we got to shoot it pretty quick. Try to hit one. Oh! <laughs> that was the best one yet. All right, let's do a little closer test with this guy. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh. I think it's because this actual like little barrel part is like longer or something like that. It kind of seems like it echoes more. Maybe it's just that type of grenade too, but it just sounds pretty cool. This guy definitely feels the most high quality as far as like, you know, the wood stock and kind of all the metal features up here. Just kind of feels the most like put together and saw, if that makes sense. There's no like creaks or rattles or anything like that. Overall, it's kind of probably more of a like collector item. If you're going to use this in the game, more power to you. That'd be sick to see. It's actually been pretty tricky to figure out how to actually utilize this rocket. Well, my crazy idea is I'm going to actually put this guy at the end like so, bruh. And then I'm actually going to use this type of grenade so it actually shoots out this huge piece at the end. And then hopefully we'll shoot the rocket out the end in the process. Gotta be quick because this one is... Bad on gas. All right, here goes nothing. Gonna aim for the chest. Well, that didn't really work out. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, this is the Aerodynamic RPG-7. You heard that right, this is a RPG. This one comes in at $450, the grand finale grenade launcher of today. So let's go see what this guy looks like. Ooh, very nice. We got a little wooden design right here too. So this is everything that comes in the box, pretty much everything obviously you need to use this guy. All right, let's see what we got. Got some stuff in that little bag, as well as some of the parts up here. So here's what is in those little bags, pretty cool. So this is the actual like trigger assembly right here, pretty sick. It actually is pretty beefy, a full metal construction, I believe, so pretty cool. And then I guess this is some kind of little grip at the back. All right, let's pick up this bad boy and see ooh, what it feels like. Definitely very back heavy. <laughs> so obviously this is like a fully, you know, plastic, uh, you know, design up here. So pretty interesting, very light up front. And then when it comes to this like little tube back here, very, very, very heavy. Obviously it's a full metal construction. Actually a lot heavier than I thought. I thought this was actually going to be one of the lightest, you know, airsoft grenade launchers of today, but definitely probably going to be one of the more heavy ones. I guess that is the front part right there. I guess you could take the little, uh, you know, grenade rocket out there too. So pretty cool. This is what it looks like. Pretty much just plastic and, uh, you know, nothing crazy special, but you could load it up right here pretty sweet and there you go 
This is the back part, kind of a nice little wood finish. Obviously, I'm not sure if this is imitation or real wood. It feels like real wood, but I'm not 100% sure. And then there is the, a little metal part at the back, which is obviously making it a little more back heavy, but pretty sure when this guy is all together, it'll have some nice weight to it. All right, it is RPG time. Let's get it. Well, with this one, we're obviously going to do one type of each grenade shot as well. And we're going to do two of these first ones. But I think pretty much how you load this guy up is you put this in here, I believe. And then you just kind of rotate this back on. I guess that's how it works. All right. This feels crazy holding this thing, but I uh, never thought I'd be holding something like this. I think there's a safety right here and then i think you just go ahead and shoot it but i'm not sure how to hold this i think it's like this maybe no idea but i'll try to use iron sights here let's see what happens oh maybe i have to do the trigger or the release okay there we go oh there we go this wasn't pulling hard enough oh it scared the sh out of me oh well, that's one shot it actually is like really helpful because this like end of it is actually like a really small like hole obviously so it's like actually helps with the accuracy of this surprisingly so pretty cool honestly so let's do one more of those just because it worked pretty well and actually see how accurate it is now that i know how to shoot this guy <laughs> just just seems so crazy trying to hold this thing all right here we go Oh, there we go. That one had a little less gas in it, but you guys can see the idea. You have to like press the trigger like super hard with this guy. All right, let's try this guy now. This one is one of my favorites, if not my favorite of the uh, grenades of the video. Let's go ahead and see. Safety off. I have to like pull with both my hands. It's so hard. Oh. Oopsie. Oh, did I break it? Oh no. So I'm a dumbass and actually like forgot that this shot out the cap with that. So it actually shot out the whole rocket. So there you go with that. That's how that worked out. Oops a daisy. Okay, so I don't think I actually broke it. I was worried for a sec because this little plastic piece came off, but it just went right back in. So I think we're good. All right, so obviously with this one, we do not want to be doing any of these like projectile ones, but I kind of tempted to do it again, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, screw it, we'll do it again. <laughs> this is probably a terrible idea, but I'm down. <laughs> All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, bruh, not enough gas. Nice. All right, I think that one's having a little issues with the cold weather with the gas. Let's go ahead and do this guy next. All right. Safety's off. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. That one actually like, I think came off cause that little rubber thing at the end, but that one was like the most satisfying. There we go. Oh my God, it's still in there. It looks so funny. All right, now we know this guy doesn't really like the, uh, you know, uh, projectile type one. So let's actually go ahead and do a couple more of these bad boys and see what we got. Ooh. Thanks again Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to claim your welcome bonus and go check out Enlisted for free by clicking the link in the video's description. Now let's go back to the video and finish off with some more RPG shots. Woo. Got it. Rocket actually did something that time, nice. All right, one more to end her off. Ooh. Boy, what are you doing? You had one job. <laughs>